the reason why I'm here today, because I'm going to talk about the dumb things that people have said to me and that people say to people with mental health issues and also that people say to people with specifically OCD and anxiety. But before I get to that, oh, I just want to give you an update. Again, last video I told you about this heart monitor. I'm still wearing it. Again, I don't have any heart problems as I know of, but they're doing this as a precaution. So don't worry. So let's get right to it. The dumb things that people say to you when you have mental health issues. How about the first thing that they always say? It's all in your head. Uh, yeah, it is because I have a brain disorder, duh. Do you tell a heart patient it's all in your heart? Don't have a heart attack, it's all in your heart. What? Would you tell a liver patient, you know, somebody who's suffering from liver problems, it's all in your liver? No, you would not. So stop it. Stop saying that. The next one that I've heard so many times. Just don't think about it. Or, as I like to say, don't worry about it. Well, I would love to do that, wouldn't you? I mean, but if you have anxiety and OCD, isn't that the whole core of the symptoms of your problem? Worry, anxiety, anxiety disorder, hence the name. That's why I have an anxiety disorder because I worry unnecessarily, but not because I want to, but because my brain chemistry is off. Stop telling people this, will you please? It is so annoying because if I could just stop, I would. Who wakes up and says, you know what? I think I'm gonna worry today. I think that's what I wanna do. That sounds like something that would be awesome. No, we don't do that. This is a part of our mental health issue so please if you're telling people this just stop it stop it the next one this is for specifically ocd sufferers who have compulsions and rituals now don't they tell you just don't do it how about that just don't do it don't do the compulsion or the ritual oh what a concept and these are always comments from people who don't know what anxiety is, never really feel anxiety, don't have any mental health issues, but they wanna tell you when you're feeling the intense fear and anxiety that you feel in your body, when you have anxiety and OCD, they want to tell you don't do the compulsion. And the horrible thoughts, the horrible repetitive thoughts, they wanna tell you just don't act on the compulsion or the ritual. Please stop. Because sir, ma'am, if I could just not do the ritual compulsion, then I wouldn't have OCD, now would I? So stop telling people that, please. The next one, this one really irritates me. You don't need a therapist. I was told this by someone, you know, don't seek therapy because whatever, they felt a certain way about therapists. So they told me, especially when I was starting this channel, that I shouldn't encourage people to get therapy. Shut up. That's what I want to say. Just shut it. Because what I want to tell you is that if you don't have a mental health problem, and if you don't want to seek therapy, well, don't. But don't hinder somebody else's progress and journey to wellness. Why, why would you do that? And why would you sit as a person who has no experience with mental health issues and no experience with what it's like to live with OCD and anxiety, tell somebody else what they should be doing in order to get well? You don't know. So please stop with your advice about therapy because you don't know what you're talking about. There are plenty of good therapists out there and there are plenty of people who are getting therapy and they are getting well. Now, I know that some of you have had great success. And if you have, please come over here and leave comments about it. Tell us about the good therapist because I have a video about the bad therapist that I have experienced. 
talking about my horror stories. And I have yet to have a good therapist. But So if you want to hear about those stories, go there. See that video. It's pretty funny. So the next thing I want to say that people say to me that is so stupid. Are you sure you have OCD? Well, let me think about it. Hmm. I'm 47. Yeah. Um, been plagued with this all my life. Been to therapists. Been to a psychiatrist for diagnosis. Have had years of terrible, horrible anxiety. Doing rituals, compulsions. Let me think about that. Do I have OCD? Yes, I do. Stop asking me that. And they will ask me that with this idea, I guess, that thinking, well, they don't believe me, I guess. I don't know. But when you do that, you kind of make the problem for the person seem minuscule. So stop, stop it. If you don't understand, and if you're not sure about what you're going to say to a person with mental health issues, perhaps you should read. Find out what they're suffering from. Go read about it. Read about the symptoms. Read about the suffering that they have to go through. And then come back, maybe with a little bit more wisdom. And then you'll know the right questions to ask. Now, some of you will say there is no dumb or stupid question. I beg to differ. There are, because I've heard them. And they have made me so angry and so pissed off. And then I have to think, you know what? They know not what they say. They know not what they do. They don't really understand what's happening to a person with mental health issues and with OCD and anxiety. So they just... You know, say whatever it is, comes off the top of their head. If you have a loved one, if you have a person with OCD, if you have a person in your life, girlfriend, boyfriend, spouse, family member, person with depression, any other disorders, mental health disorders, please do some research, do some, some reading before you go and start asking stupid questions because you really hinder the progress. You really do. So you want to go in with the idea that I'm going to help this person with what I say and how I act and how I am around them. Not coming in just all oblivious with your crazy, ridiculous questions. Now, I know some of you out there have heard crazy, ridiculous comments about your mental health issues. And I know you've gotten some crazy questions too. Comment. Tell me about your experiences. Tell me about the crazy things people say to you. Please come on over. Be here in this community. We are here to help each other. I need the help. You need the help. So let's just be here and let's get well together. I mean, it's a journey, right? So we all need each other here. So come on over and I will see you all next time. And I hope nobody says anything stupid to you before the next video that I make, okay? Have a great day, everybody.